Problem Solving Addition Strategy Draw a Picture, Lesson 312. We can solve word problems by drawing a picture. The first thing we do is read the problem. Then we ask ourselves, what do we need to find? What information do we need to use? And how will we use the information? Then we solve the problem. Lisa read nine books. Emma read six books. Bob read one book. How many books did they read in all? What do we need to find? We need to find how many books they read in all. What are we, information do we need to use to find it? We need the nine, the six, the one, and addition. We need the nine, the six, and the one, and we need to use addition. It says in all. That's a clue that it's going to be addition. We can make nine dots counters for Lisa's nine books. We can make six dots or counters for Emma's six books. We can make one dot for Bob's one book. And we could even move this one dot into the 10 frame, couldn't we? We could move Bob's one dot and put it into the 10 frame to make a 10. Now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 9 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 16. There are 8 blue birds and 5 red birds in a tree. Two brown birds join them. How many birds are in the tree? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many birds are in the tree. What information do we need to use? We need that there are 8 blue birds, five red birds, and two brown birds. Those are the important numbers, aren't there? Eight, five, and two. And how will we use this information? Well, how many and join them is a clue for addition. It says how many, and it says join them. That's addition. We can draw eight blue dots for the blue birds, five red dots for the red birds, and two brown dots for the brown birds. We can count them. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can write an addition sentence. Eight would be the first add end. Five would be the next add end and two would be the last add end. We can make a 10. We could take this two and this eight together and make a 10 and then add the five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 birds are in the tree. We can draw pictures to solve. Bill picked six apples from a tree. Lisa picked zero apples. Dave picked six apples. How many apples were picked? What do we need to find? We need to find how many apples were picked. What information do we need to use? We need to use the six, the zero, and the six. Those are the important numbers in the problem. How will we use the information? How many is a clue for, addi for addition? It's asking how many were picked. That tells us we need to add the numbers. We can make six apples for Bills. Lisa is zero, so we put zero for Lisa. And Dave picked six. We can fill the 10 frame with four of them and two are outside. Now we know there's 10, 11, 12. We can write an addition sentence with the six, the zero, and the six for our add-ins. We can use the pictures to help us count. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know that's a 10, right? 11, 12. 12 apples were picked. 
Tim had candy. He gave four to Emma, then he gave three to Bob. He had two left. How many candies did Tim have to start? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many Tim had before he gave any away. And what information do we need to use? We need to use the four, the three, and the two, and addition. These are our important numbers, the four, the three, and the two. How will we use the information? We'll use addition. It's asking how many. What we can do is make a 10 frame, and he gave four to Emma. Emma starts with an E, so we can make one, two, three, four E's for Emma's, for her four. He gave three to Bob. We can make a B for Bob, and another one, and another one to make the three to Bob. And he had two left, and his name is Tim, so we can put one, two T's for Tim. We can look at the 10 frame and see that it's one less than 10. It's nine. And we can use the four, the three, and the two to write an addition sentence. Four and three and two. And we can see from our picture that he had nine candies to start. Tala has seven crayons. Bill gives her four more crayons. Then Emma gives her three more. How many crayons does Tala have? What do we need to find? We need to find how many crayons Tala has after Bill and Emma give her more. What information do we need to use? We need to use the seven, the four, and the three. These are the important numbers, seven, four, and three. How will we use the information? Addition. More means addition. We see that Bill gives her more. Emma gives her more. So we're going to add these numbers. We can draw crayons. Here's the seven that she had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can draw seven simple crayons. Here's the four. Bill gives her four more. So these are four from Bill. And Emma gives her three more. So here's the three from Emma. We can add seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can write an addition sentence seven plus four plus three. And we can add them. 7 plus 3 would make a 10. We could take these two add-ins together and make a 10, right? 7 plus 3, then we can add the 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now she has 14 crayons. Tim had six purple balloons. Lisa gave him eight red balloons. Bob gave him three green balloons. How many balloons does Tim have now? What information do we need to find? How many balloons Tim has after Lisa and Bob give him more? What information do we need to use? We need to use the six, the eight, and the three. And how will we use them? Well, gave and how many now means addition. Lisa gave him some. That means he had more, and Bob gave him some. So we're going to add these numbers together. We can draw balloons. He had six purple ones to begin with. And then it says Lisa gave him eight. We can draw eight. And Bob gave him three. We can draw the balloons and then count how many we have. We can also write an addition sentence. We have six plus eight plus three. The pictures can help us add. We start with the larger add-in, eight, and count on nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17. It equals 17 balloons. See? So you can use little pictures to help you add. It'll help you with word problems. Our next lesson is going to be in Chapter 4. We're going to talk about how to count back, which is a subtraction strategy. That's Lesson 4.1. So we're going to talk more about subtraction in the next chapter. And we'll learn different ways that will help us subtract. I'm really proud of you for watching math videos, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.